Hi guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be sharing with you 13 of the most sustainable beauty products according to Forbes magazine. I was doing some re research on clean beauty products and I came across this article that they actually released this April about clean beauty products. There was so many products on their list that they talked about in the article. I picked 13 of the products that I'm going to be sharing with you today. All of these products that I'm sharing with you, mm, most of these products that I'm sharing with you are products that I had not heard of until I read this article. That's why I wanted to film this video. I wanted to share the love and share the knowledge about these products with all of you. Before we get started, if you don't know who I am, my name is Reagan. I would appreciate it if you joined my growing family here and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Friday. And other than that, let's just get right into it. So the first clean beauty product that I'm going to be talking about from the article is the BioPure Beauty Blender. So this is a green beauty blender. Their normal beauty blender is a pink. This one is green to match the clean theme. 60% um, of it is plant-based and it is made of renewable sugar cane. And it is made with less water waste and less CO2 emissions. And this beauty blender is $20. I feel like that's pretty standard for a quality beauty blender. So. I have not used their original one either, so if you have tried their beauty blenders, definitely comment down below and let us know how they work. The second product is a product that I am sure everyone's heard of before, and it is the Burt's Bees Rescue Lip Balm. I don't know if they are specifically talking about the Rescue Lip Balm, but I know that everybody has heard of Burt's Bees before. Um, the Rescue Lip Balm specifically that they talk about in this article is made with a new hybrid tube of post-consumer recycled content and bioresin from uncycled potatoes. So that was pretty interesting to me. Actually, a lot of the products mentioned that they were made or their packaging was made with post-consumer recycled content and I thought that that was a pretty cool idea or um, brands were trying to move to uh, such ideas where they recycle um, their own consumers waste uh, so I thought that was cool and then uncycled potatoes. I don't really know what uncycled potatoes are but um, Yeah, this lip balm is $4.39 and I'm sure you can't find it anywhere. You can literally find this stuff at Walmart. So that's cool uh, The next product I actually think is one of the coolest products uh, on the list here that I found and it is a toothbrush and it is called the Colgate Keep. Uh, it has a snap-on replaceable head and the handle is made of reusable aluminum. So I think this is a really cool idea just because um, toothbrushes should be replaced very often. Um, maybe monthly or every other month. And so even just the idea of this toothbrush as a reminder to switch out the head, I think that it would be super easy to remember and get in the habit of doing when you have a toothbrush that's reminding you every time you look at it. So the that toothbrush is $12.69. I'm not sure if you can get that at like your local Walmart or something like that or if you have to get it online, but I will try and leave links to everything below as well. The next beauty product that the article talks about is a mascara and it is by the brand Izzy Zero Waste Beauty. So with this mascara, once the mascara is used up, clients can send the empty tubes back to Izzy via a reusable shipper made from uncycled materials. It will then be cleaned, medically cleaned, 
refilled and shipped out to a new customer. So I think that even the way that they describe the process is so in depth and I really think that they have thought every part of the process through with their branding. Uh, Every part of the process of obtaining and refilling and reusing this product is sustainable and I think that that's really cool. Also, um, in the article it states that each mascara will last through at least 10,000 cycles so it can last for 60 generations when that math is done out, which is just crazy to me. I don't think that that's realistic. I think that that's a cool concept and a cool thing to advertise, but like, I don't know how true that is or if that's actually going to happen. But anyways, um, a starter kit to get something like this started with this brand would be um, $35. I don't know exactly what a starter kit entails, but that's kind of... Um, it's not super cheap just to get started with this kind of thing. So I think that you really should do your research and be dedicated to something like this before you decide to just switch over to uh, Izzy Zero Waste Beauty Mascara. Okay, next we have uh, Suzanne Kaufman Cleansing Gel Refills. Uh, this is a lightweight plastic refill bottle comprised of 75% recycled high density polyethylene that is recyclable. It's kind of ridiculous to me how everything when described in clean terms has to be like so elaborate. Reduces CO2 emissions during production. This brand really wanted to focus on their packaging, their packaging being lightweight. The reason why is because this reduces CO2 emissions during production, during transportation, during post-consumer recycling processing, pretty much every step of the way it's reducing CO2 emissions. So I think that that's kind of cool, um, but that would go for anything really in general. So that's good to keep in mind. Uh, they have plant-based cleansing gel with natural sugar surfactants from renewable sources. So all of the goody clean ingredients in the product itself as well. This gel cleanser is $82. I think that that is just astronomical. I think when we first think of clean and vegan products or really green products, we associate them with the high price point as well. And it's good to know that not everything on this list um, has a price point like that. Next up on the list is a deodorant by Old Spice and Secret. They released a line of deodorants that is their paperboard deodorants. And these are all paper and plastic free, aluminum free deodorants. They started as a limited time collection. They did so well, they brought them back as a permanent item at the company and you can buy these for $10.49. Next, we have reusable um, cotton rounds. You know that I have been using reusable cotton rounds. I've talked about them in multiple videos, but the one specifically talked about in the Forbes article is the Garnier Skin Active Cleansing Eco Pads. These are made in 100% renewable electricity facilities powered by 59% renewable energy. I think that that's really cool that all of their facilities energy will be renewable and reused at some point. So that's something huge. You don't think about how much power it takes to uh, run huge businesses. 
in huge companies like that so it really will add up over time so i appreciate that also they claim that these eco pads the um cotton rounds can be used up to 1000 times so think about how many times you use a cotton round you can use that 1000 times imagine how much money you're saving and how much waste you're saving so you can get these in a pack of three for $8.99 which is honestly a super 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 great price so I will definitely make sure to link to those below. Next up, we have a moisturizer. This is the Tata Harper Skin Care Water Lock Moisturizer. It comes with a refillable pod, and this also has plant-based ingredients. Um, this particular moisturizer is $68. Um, I'm talking about this one because it's the one mentioned in the article. I feel like there are so, so, so many moisturizers that you could find out there that are green and clean. Um, I, I don't know how many you can find that have refillable pods, but um, if you just want plant-based ingredients, there's lots of options out there and there will be lots of options under $68. So definitely uh, do your research before uh, deciding to pick this one up. Next, we have the Super Zero Normal Slash Oily Shampoo Bar. Each full-size bar is equivalent to two to three eight ounce liquid bottles. So that's kind of cool. I also feel like it does save so much product overall, any type of bar soap over a liquid bottle. But um, this specific brand, Super Zero, is a zero waste brand. Um, they also have the same idea of lighter packaging, makes things easier to ship and lowers your carbon footprint. Also in this shampoo bar, you can find natural plant proteins. It is 100% microplastic free and it is only $18. Next up is kind of a fun product and it is the PYT Beauty Upcycle Eyeshadow Palette. This palette is made with absolutely no mirrors. Apparently that is what makes so many palettes and makeup products unrecyclable is the mirrors. So it is one of the fully recyclable eyeshadow palettes and this specific palette is made of 15% PCR and it is patented to be the first to market sustainable pre-graded plastic components even including the hinges. So that's pretty cool. I've never heard of this brand before. I'm not sure if all of their products are like this. I just know that the eyeshadow palette specifically is. The formula is also clean. It is vegan, cruelty free, and it is Leaping Bunny certified. You can buy this palette for $28. Next up, we will be talking about a lock mist, and this is from Sea Spring and it is a two-in-one moisture lock mist. This is like a type of setting spray. Um, this brand focuses on natural ingredients that are responsibly sourced. I think that this is um, actually super, super duper important. Um, you think about clean ingredients, but how are those clean ingredients being harvested? How are they being grown? How are we obtaining them? Um, how are they being shipped to us? Um, who is doing this labor? We don't think about everything that happens behind the scenes, and we don't think about how we obtain all of these clean ingredients. So I really, really like how this brand thought about that and made sure to mention that they are using ingredients that are responsibly sourced. So that's kind of cool. Um, their bottles are recycled. The packaging is made from PCR materials, sustainable shipping material. A lot of those are just basic things that all clean brands do, but something cool that this brand does is for every order place, trees are planted where they're needed most. This brand is also verified clean by Environmental Working Group. This moisture lock mist is made with olive oil, jojoba, apple, macadamia, ginseng extracts, and other natural ingredients, and it is only $14.99. Next up is a face mask called Free and Tree Raw and Wild. It is made with raw regional honey. 
that made me so excited. I think that um, natural and local honey um, has so many benefits um, to your health, um, to your body, uh, to your skin, just for so, so, so many different things. So that was um, super exciting to hear that they use local honey in their ingredients. They also use lavender, rosemary, marigold, fruit enzymes, kaolin clay, and pearl extract. Uh, those all seem like very promising ingredients. Also something cool about this brand is that $1 from every sale goes to organizations that are fighting to save bee populations. And you can get this mask for $56. That seems like kind of a lot, but it is quite a bit. It's going to last you a while and it's it's from a brand that supports really good causes and uh, uses really good ingredients. So I think that that little extra money is worth it. The last product from the article that I'm going to talk about today is from Leaf People and it is their Kalahari Melon Seed Oil. This is hand collected from the oldest genetic watermelon plant on the planet. Uh, I think this is kind of a weird flex. Um, I don't know what uh, a, what the oldest watermelon in on the planet can offer us that we need so badly in our skincare. Uh, but this oil has it in it. So it also has vitamin K, D, and E. And each purchase directly supports the bush people of Nambia. I don't really know what tie this brand has to Nambia, but if you care to support them, that is a plus to buying this product. Also, all packaging is made from FSC certified post-consumer recycled, recyclable, biodegradable materials with vegetable and water-based inks. So there that is again post-consumer recycled and recyclable material for this one. Uh, I also thought it was cool that they thought about the ink on their packaging. I never really thought about that. Um, it's just something that you don't really think about. But um, it's cool that they have water-based and vegetable-based inks on their packaging. Uh, this oil is $52. So guys, that is all of the sustainable beauty products that I wanted to talk to you about that I discovered through Forbes um, sustainable beauty products article. I will definitely link the article down below in case you wanted to read the entire thing. It's kind of long and so I just wanted to condense it down to the nitty gritty what the products were and what the pros of them were and how they were green and what made them sustainable. All the most important things just here in one video. Hopefully it is not too long. If you've used any of these products, definitely let me know down below what ones are worth picking up. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of video. And other than that, I will catch you in my next one. Bye loves.